Hi, my name is Jamie Flagel, and I am the welding advisor at South Seattle College. We have two welding programs through South Seattle, so today we're going to talk about both of those a bit more in depth. First, we're going to talk about our maritime welding program. So this program is at the shipyards. Um, it's adjacent to bigger industrial shipyards. And in this facility, we have dozens of welding booths um, that open out to the bigger shipyard um, facility so that you're going to get a mix of both in the booth training and actually out in the field training. Our instructor works for Vigor as well as South Seattle College, and he has over 30 years of experience in this specific field. This program is a certificate. Um, it will take you six months to complete, and we begin this program every fall and spring. Classes are Monday through Friday. They go from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. In the two quarters that you're in the program, you're going to get a mixture of academics and um, actual hands-on class time. So in the first quarter, you're gonna learn about math for technicians. Now this is gonna be math that's specific to what you need um, to succeed in the field. So learning about things like measuring arcs, for example, is something that you would need to succeed in welding. You're also gonna learn about welding theory. So theory, meaning when you would use what weld on what. So there's all sorts of different types of welds. There's all sorts of different types of metals. There's applications for all of these things. So the theory class is going to go through that for you. And then the processes, the hands-on that you're going to learn that quarter are going to be oxacetylene and flex core. In the second quarter, you're going to learn about print reading and welding symbols. So this would be more on the academic side. And then the process that you're going to work on is shielded metal arc. And then this is when you're going to do your shipyard intensive. So in your second quarter, you're going to get out into the shipyards to get more hands on um, with what you're actually going to be doing once you're employed. Now, um, shifting gears, we're going to talk about welding fabrication technology. So this is the program on our main campus. However, the two quarters that you would do at the maritime facility, if you'd like to continue on and earn a degree rather than a certificate, you can transfer all the classes that you take at the bigger shipyards to our main campus facility to earn a degree. So the facility on the main campus, we have approximately 50 welding booths on the main campus with all different types of welding applications um, that you would learn. So we have simulated environments um, such as a structural steel, um, which is meant to replicate working on an oil rig, for example. Um, as you can see in this picture, you can also see somebody working in a confined space. So we simulate that as well. We have a couple different welding instructors on the main campus. Um, including a union representative iron worker with over 20 years of experience and students prepare for their Weibo or Wabo certifications when they're in this program. I've heard it pronounced both ways, but Weibo or Wabo stands for Washington State Officials Certification. Um, so for those that want to go on to work somewhere here in Washington State, this is a good thing to have on your resume when you're going into the field. This program, so it depends on if you want to do a certificate or if you want to earn a degree. So if you're certificate seeking, it's going to take you between nine months to one year to earn that certificate. If you're seeking a degree, it'll take you a year and a half. We begin this program every quarter, so fall, winter, spring, and summer. Class days are Monday through Friday, and we offer two different class times. You can either be a morning student where you'd come from seven to noon, or you can be an afternoon student. Afternoon students come Monday through Thursday from 1.15 to 5.05 p.m. and they also come on Fridays from 12 to 4 p.m. So in this program, in the first quarter, second quarter and third quarter, you can go ahead and read through all of the requirements 
I'd encourage you to pause the video here to read through the specific classes that you would take in your first through third quarters. And here's fourth, fifth, and um, also a description of our welding electives. So once somebody has taken that first through third quarter curriculum, when they move into their fourth and fifth quarters, they get to choose their curriculum. So this is when they get to pick two welding electives. So two in the fourth quarter and then two again in the fifth quarter. So the welding electives are gonna be pipe, fabrication, Weibo test prep classes, or you could do an internship. This is really when you get to decide what you wanna do as a career. So once you get that basic knowledge in the first through third quarters, you can really start to hone in on the types of welds that you wanna work on so that you can go out afterwards and get a job in the field that you want to be in. Um, in the fourth quarter, you're also gonna see information about another class that's required, which is our CAD CNC plasma table class. These are some places our uh, students have gone on to work for, and then some average salary information. So average is not what you would earn from the get-go. Average salaries are probably going to be more about a five to seven year outlook about what you might expect to earn. Um, and these are Puget Sound area figures, so about 50000 per year. And then if you're a highly skilled worker, so this is going to be better than average, um, then you're going to be earning more around $76,000 per year in the Puget Sound area. If you have any additional questions about either the Maritime Certificate or the Welding Fabrication degree, please reach out to us. We can walk you through your steps to enroll. Um, just email info south at seattlecolleges.edu. Thank you for watching this today. I hope you've learned something and I hope you have a good day.